let's see how to subtract one vector from another graphically. Now in the upper left hand corner here I've drawn two vectors, a vector A in blue and a vector B in green. And what we'll learn here is how to draw or how to find graphically the vector A minus the vector B. To do that graphically or to draw that there are two methods. For the first method I'll just write a little one here. We start by drawing the two vectors we have, so A and B, from the same point. So for instance, let's say I draw vector A starting here, I just draw, I'll make a copy of that vector A, there we go, that's my vector A, and starting at the same point I now draw vector B. So let's try and make a decent copy of vector B there, something like this, there we go, that's my vector B. Then the vector A minus B is the vector joining the head of vector B to the head of vector A. So that would be the vector I'm drawing right now. There we go. That's the vector A minus B. The other method you may use, and I'll just write a little 2 here, is to think of A minus B as being equal to vector A plus the opposite of vector B. So that's plus negative B. And what's quite nice about thinking of subtraction this way is that we can now use the tail to head method we had seen for the addition of two vectors. Here's what I mean. I'll start by drawing negative b. Well, that's the opposite vector of this green vector b. In other words, it's the vector which is parallel to b and of the same magnitude, but it points in the opposite direction. So that's negative b there. Now to draw a plus negative b, I can start at any point and draw vector a. So if I do that, vector a looks something like this. There we go. That's vector a. Now from the head of vector a, I draw the vector negative b. That's the orange vector I drew at the top here. So starting from the head of a, I draw the vector negative b. Like so. That's negative b. Now the vector a plus negative b is the vector joining the tail of vector a to the head of negative b. And that would be this yellow vector I'm drawing right now. There we go. That's my vector a plus negative b, or simply a minus b. So I'll write that there, that's a minus b. Now although these weren't drawn perfectly to scale, I'm sure you can appreciate that the two yellow vectors we obtain here are the same ones. Which shows that it doesn't matter which of the two methods you use, you'll get the same result. And in fact, to illustrate that further, let me use the grid on the right hand side here, to work through the following example, and I'll just write example here, let's say I have a vector a whose components are 1 and 5, that's 1 and 5, and we'll say that vector b has components 4, negative 1. And we need to find the vector a minus b. Well before I draw anything, I'm sure you can see right away that if I were to actually calculate a minus b, then its horizontal component would be 1 minus 4, so that would be negative 3 and its vertical component would be 5 minus negative 1, which would turn into 6. So we already know that the vector a minus b has components negative 3 and 6. Now let's use the grid we have here and apply each of the two methods we've just seen to obtain the same result graphically. And I'll start with the first method. If I start by drawing the vector a we have here, and where we start drawing it from really doesn't matter, but I'll go ahead and start it right here. And so to draw vector a, its components are 1, 5, so starting from here, that's 1 unit to the right, and 5 units upward, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here. And so vector a should look something like this, there we go, that's 1 across and 5 upwards, there we go, that's my vector a. And starting from the same point, I now draw vector b, so that's 4 units to the right and 1 unit downwards. So starting from here, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4 units to the right, and 1 unit downwards. Okay, so vector b looks something like this. There we go, that's vector b. Using this method, the vector a minus b is the vector joining the head of vector b to the head of vector a. And so that would be this vector I'm drawing in yellow right now. There we go, that's my vector a minus b. Now by all means check, but to get from the tail of this yellow vector to its head, we move 1, 2, 3 units to the left, so that's negative 3, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units upwards, which confirms the vertical component we have here, 6. Okay, so this method 1 definitely works, let's look at method 2. 
Remember, in this second method, instead of subtracting b, we think of it as adding negative b. Now, starting from the vector b we have here, to define the vector negative b, all we have to do is consider the opposites of the components of b. In other words, negative b has components negative 4, 1. Now that we've defined negative b, let's go ahead and draw a plus negative b. So starting at any arbitrary point, I'll start right here. I draw vector a. Well again, to draw vector a we move one unit to the right and five units upwards. That's one, two, three, four, five, right here. So if I draw that, vector a looks like this. There we go, that's my vector a. And I'll just label that a. Now starting from the head of vector a, I draw the vector negative b. And its components are negative four, one. So starting from here, I move across four units to the left, that's one, two, three, four, and one unit upwards, right here. And if I just draw that, that's this orange vector there. That's my vector negative b. Finally, the vector a plus negative b is the vector joining the tail of vector a to the head of negative b. And so that would be this yellow vector I'm drawing right now. That's my vector a plus negative b, or simply a minus b. And once more, we see that to get from the tail of this yellow vector to its head, we move one, two, three units to the left, and one, two, three, four, five, six units upwards, which confirms the result we have written here. And there we have it. That's how to subtract one vector from another graphically. And that's it for this tutorial.